Hey there, it's Dr. Kim Doramo, and this is the year to begin to align with what is it your heart desires? What is it that really makes you tick? Who is it that you really are? Every choice, every moment, every breath can be in alignment with that, can be a step closer to that. A lot of us still don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know who I really am. And that's really why my work is so much about connect with your body. Connect with your body every day. Set your alarm three times a day just to take three to five breaths and connect with your body. Feel your heart, breathe into your heart. Feel the space of your heart and let it awaken within you. It will awaken you, it will guide you, it will show you. So if you feel like, well, I don't know what I really want, it's okay. Just use that practice and begin to let it speak to you more and more fully in the beginning of this year because this will be the year to really begin to cherish yourself like never before, to honor yourself like never before, to put yourself in your heart, your heart's desires first like never before because we can no longer give through depletion. We can no longer live through depletion. We must begin to live through fulfillment. I give through the overflow of my own fulfillment. I'm willing to show up to life and say yes and receive all of the beautiful things that are in store for me that are a match for who I truly am and what makes me tick and what make what I love and to give through the fulfillment of that. That's when we begin to create a world of light. So for your New Year's intention, ask yourself, what is it I most desire? What is it, what is it that I most cherish? What is it that really lights me up more than anything? For me, one of the things is really being present to my kids and seeing them. Like sometimes I'll just stare at them like, oh my God, the way his lip moves and the way he, you know, his hand moves when he grabs his food. And I'm like, oh, and it really lights me up. But a lot of the time I would be with them, but like focusing on other things, doing other things. I got, you know, my phone or work or whatever, and I'm getting it done to take care of them. But how much time am I actually present to them? So for me, this year is about setting that time aside, carving that out every day that I'm totally tuned out of everything else and tuned into myself and my body and my presence with my kids. So what is it that lights you up? Let me just show you how stinking cute. Look at, he's eating his foot. How's it taste? Look at that, so cute. You're so much fun, we love you, love you, love you. What is it that lights you up? What is it that makes you tick? What is it that you live and die for. You don't have to wait for that. You actually can't be in that state of thinking you're waiting for that. It's gonna be more and more and more painful and depleting to do the things you don't like to do, to be in a job that you hate, to be in a relationship that isn't really about love, um, to do things out of obligation instead of a sense of joy. So don't fool yourself anymore. What is it that you really love and what are you willing to choose now and prioritize now because that's what 2019 is all about yes so sending you so much love from san juan puerto rico and um yeah we're all we're all really really moving into something extraordinary here so share with me in this post what is it that you're ready to prioritize what is it that makes your heart sing even if you don't know how could i do that now i have to wait till i have enough money or till i get older or till i blah 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 that's not the truth you can actually connect with the essence of this right now so um, we can together come up with some creative ways that you can begin to engage in that so that you receive and that you light up and, and allow yourself to be a light in the world yes all right lots of love bye